the smoker king gear. I'm, today I'm uh, going to make some homemade pinto beans to go along with our fajitas that we're cooking later. To start off, I soaked about three and a half, four pounds of, of beans overnight. They absorb water, and you know I think that they turn out better if you do soak them. You know, to that, we're going to add about a pound of chopped bacon, a quart of beef broth, a quart of chicken broth, You want the beans to be covered because they're going to soak up more of the liquid and some going to evaporate in cooking. So I'm going to add a little bit more beef broth to it to make sure I get everything covered. I have a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I add the liquid in all. I have a, a large yellow onion. I found it easier if you cut the onion twice. Like that. And then what you're going to do is go lengthwise. And then you can chop. I want it coarsely chopped because this onion is going to pretty much be gone by the time we get through cooking them. I add a little bit of onion at the end just to give it more flavor. I put one whole onion in at the beginning. This is the other half. Then I have one tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of chili powder, a tablespoon of Lowry salt, and one and a half tablespoons of salt. And then I like to add just a little bit of liquid smoke. Just a couple dashes, it gives good flavor. What you want to do is put that on medium high heat, bring it to a boil. And I cook it for about four hours until you know, the beans are tender uh, on you know medium low heat. You just want to let it simmer. And you know some people cook for shorter, but you know I, I like to cook it for four hours. They really absorb the flavor, and uh, I haven't had any complaints yet. Beans are looking good. They've been cooking for about hour and a half or so. Been real tender. Got good color from the seasonings that we put in. I'll probably let them go for another hour and they should be done. They already taste good.